Welcome back to NC Bassin. I'm excited to be back on Lake Norman. It's been a while. I haven't fished in 13 days and that's a long time for me. I haven't been to the lake. I'm hearing it's kind of tough out here. The water's dropping for some reason. We had a lot of rain, but they're still dropping the lake. It's down to like 96.1, which is low. They're letting the water out. I don't know why, but maybe the fish are biting. We got a front coming in. I'm excited just to get out here and fish, but as soon as I get here, it starts pouring down rain. I was wanting to stay. I got here later about 1230 and I want to stay till dark. Cause it seems like the fish are biting at dark after the sun goes down it seems like the last few times i've been here the fish are really biting when the sun goes down so i'm hoping it'll be like that tonight hopefully we can catch some fish the goal for today really is to catch one over two pounds i got my buddy with me here today if we can both catch one over two pounds we'll be happy it seems like low goals but really i hope i don't get skunked i'm hearing people getting skunked and the people that can actually fish good it's making me nervous so and i know i've been out here struggling and usually lake norman you're guaranteed not the skunk but lately it's been tough but usually when it's cloudy that's why i went today is even though it's raining and it's kind of cold but i hate getting i hate fishing on sunny bluebird sky days out here but usually when it's cloudy you can catch a fish or two here not a lot of wind a little bit of wind but i'm hoping we get them on moving baits but even if i can catch a few on the swim bait i'll be happy or ned rig or whatever just i don't want to catch some fish nothing major no big major challenge today i just want to catch something let's see how it goes spot too really? damn near state record Ooh. There's one. Fish on. Yes. Out here hiding from the rain under the bridge. On a long cast. Got one right where he's supposed to be in that corner. I don't need a net, dude. A little Kitek. Oh, that's a nice one. Biggest fish of the year, maybe. As soon as we got here, it started pouring down rain, but it's a new combo I got from Gander Mountain. And it's super sensitive. $140 rod for 36 bucks. That's a good fish. Not quite two pounds, but close to it. He might be two pounds. I think he is. Yes. The goal for today. It might be a two pounder too. Yes. It's fun on that rod of weight. I mean, long cast. He bit it. Might be a two pounder too. We're about to find out. This time of year, guys, these spots are all about the same size. In the winter time, they get really fat. The biggest spot is gonna come in the winter time. I've caught so many, oh, there's something on the graph. I've caught so many 19, 20 inch spots that barely weigh three pounds. But in the, in the winter time, they'll be five pounds. The biggest spot I caught was like a 19 and a half inch, but it was like a football. 399 is the biggest spot I ever caught, sadly, but there's a ton of two pounders in here, especially in the winter time. And this scale is always weighing light, guys. We done it. He's over two pounds, 211. Yes. I'll take that any day. He's been caught recently. He's probably been waiting in the tournament. Oh my God. Sorry, I'll just play him one more. Oh my gosh. Out here deep, guys. It feels like a good one. Granted, he's 30 foot down, so he probably ain't. But slow rolling the Kitek. Decent. Out here on this offshore spot, I love to fish this one. He's done. A little Kitek right in the face. Oh, this rod is so light, it's hard to flip him. He's been caught recently too, look at him. All these fish. He didn't mess my bait up either. That Kitek, you can just slow roll it and I tell it'll still wiggle. That's another one close to two. We'll take it with it. It's finally stopped raining. It's 4.43. It's, we've been kind of struggling. Maybe these fish are deep now. We marked some bait on the grass, so hopefully we can find some more. Well, guys, midday update. Well, more than midday, but the sun's going down, and hopefully that's when the fish are going to bite. I'll probably stay like two hours after dark. It's going to be cold. Hopefully, depending on how they're biting, I'm hoping they'll really be biting like they have been. It seems like as soon as the sun goes down, these fish jump on these lights and start feeding lately, even though it's cold. I've caught two. They're both decent size. No little fish bite today. I'm just glad to catch something. I know it might be a tough day, but we stayed somewhat, it rained pretty hard, but we hid for a while. Stayed somewhat dry, so I got that going for me. Hopefully these fish really start feeding after dark like they have been. Let's see how it goes. Fish on. Tell us one bait this time, he's small. Is that a large one? What is that? No, oh, that's a spot. Well, I had one hit it. Hit a crankbait coming at the boat. There's a ton of bait down there. 
Got him on the swim bait. We hit it coming up too. Just got hung up a second ago. Nothing big, but he's a fish. Hopefully he's gonna start biting when it gets dark. Well guys, it's 8.30, I'm gonna call it day, it's getting cold. I don't know why these fish will not bite at night. I tried all the lights I know, could not get a bite. I don't. I was really expecting to catch a big one at night. I was trying really hard, but I just wouldn't bite. It was another tough day at Lake Norman. I was glad to get the three that I got, but it's another lame video. It's a struggle in the winter time. Usually I catch a few in the winter time and some bigger fish, but this winter has been the worst winter I've had probably ever. It's been real tough. I don't know if you guys can even see me, but it's been a tough winter. This lake, I, Lake Norman's the lake I, I know the best. That's why I keep coming to this lake. But I do plan on fishing a lot of different lakes, guys. I do got the Big Bass Tour Tournament coming up March 20th. I will be here, and I'm going to have to practice for that. But I'm going to fish a lot of more lakes, start fishing the Yakka Chain. I'm getting tired of Norman. You guys are probably getting tired of seeing the same old spot, same old lake, catching a little fish. I'm just tired of catching a little spot, so... I like catching bigger fish. I mean, you guys know I catch the tiniest fish you've ever seen on YouTube. But today they're biting a little swim bait. I probably should through the A rig. There's no wind. I think they had a lot to do with it. Made it a little tough. But the lake's so low, too. They keep dropping the lake. I guess the winter drawdown's full effect right now. But lake start, when the lake starts rising and pre spawn, you can catch a lot of fish. I like a little stained water and, and when the water's high. But stained water when the water's dropping completely low and it's dro the temperature's dropping, it makes it tough. It was another tough day. The big ones are going to start biting soon. I always catch my biggest fish in February, so I'm looking forward to February. Maybe we get some warm rain that gets the water real high. That's when the fish will bite. I might do a Tuesday tournament next week. I've been struggling lately, but I really want to compete. I haven't done but the New Year's Day is the only tournament I've done all year. I really want to compete, but if you guys have any tips for what to do on Lake Norman right now, let me know because I'm really struggling. And thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.